Well, hello, Virginia. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> you look like you're at a hair salon. I'm actually out front of the hair salon processing. I'm covering all those pesky grays that us girls hate so much. So wherever we see whatever that dye is, that's where your hair would be gray? Yeah, it's bad, dude. It's okay, bad. Let's, let's see how much coverage we got. Oh, it's so bad. Wow, so it goes all the way back and, and under and everything, huh? Yeah, thanks to my mom. You know, I got those jeans. My mom was like 50% gray at the age of 35. No way. So, yeah. So where are you? Like what percentage? I don't know. I don't let that thing grow out. <laughs> You've never, you have no idea. There's never been a moment where you could even see how gray you are. You have no clue. I mean, I would say I'm probably about 70%, but I never want to see that. No girl wants to see that. We no way. cover it immediately as soon as you can see the gray. <laughs> so how often do you have to do this process? Uh, every 12 days. Okay. All right. 12 days. Yeah. And it was great back when, you know, I was in business with Justin and we had yeah. the salon, but... Mm -hmm. We don't have a friendship or a business together anymore. So now I have to go like on the open market and pay retail for hair. And it's freaking ridiculously expensive. Oh, yeah. I was going to say that <laughs> that can't be cheap. Yeah. That, no. you, you had a sweet deal earlier. I had a sweet deal, but then it all fell apart and the friendship and the business. We sold the business. And he doesn't speak to me. Gosh, well, that, uh, that freaking sucks. And here you are now having to find a new place to get all your gray <laughs> hair taken care of. I'm on the open market, going to a girl I'd never been to before. She's lovely. I love her. She worked with Magnolia at Blue Point. So mm -hmm. we, know, we know her. She's adorable. Okay. But it's just gotcha. weird, you know, when you go to somebody for 25 years, yeah. same crew. It's just weird. Right. Well, I mean, you know, I was, you know, I, I went to Justin back in the day when we first got to town and we all hung out for, you know, our first couple of years. So to not have that anymore, it is odd. Odd. It's yeah. very weird. It feels mm -hmm. like it's sad too. You know, it makes me sad when I think about it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hear you. I hear you. We got the bird that uh, hopped in here. What up, bird? <laughs> Happy uh spring break, bitches. How are you? You guys look great. You look lovely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Looking good. Looking good. I, uh, am, am I coming in clear? Yeah, yeah, you're coming in clear. Yeah, we just discovered something which is kind of crazy uh, because I had done that uh, HairPod podcast and I was so ashamed because some of my audio sounded muffled and like dog crap. And what I think is going on here is I think these $10 earbuds that I have are better than this radio station microphone that we paid a ton of money for. Yeah. That, that microphone doesn't make a, it doesn't make a difference. In fact, it actually d takes away from it. Yeah. I was like, what the heck, man? Cause I was listening back cause they put the podcast. I'm so ashamed cause I'm the freaking radio guy and the people who were using air, their audio sounds better than mine. I'm like, how terrible is that? I'm the freaking radio dude, and my audio sounds like dog shit. Well, don't don't be so hard on yourself. Your hair your hair looks great. Thank I'm you. Yeah, boring. yeah. Well, they're 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 holding up their end of the bargain. I'm not holding up mine. That's the only <laughs> problem. Yeah, they're just doing good. So yeah, so uh, we're we're doing a little spring break stuff. Um, my wife is off this week. Virginia, you're going to be uh, going to go see your grandma. I know. So you're heading up through Nashville and into Kentucky. Yeah, it worked out great. So Magnolia at FSU and Rocco at uh, his school in Martin County both have spring break the same exact week that grandma is turning 100. So we get on an airplane tomorrow to go see grandma and then oh, we'll that's cool. run the streets of Nashville. I'm going to hook up with your son, Kyle. Not hook up. That's a bad word. Yeah. I'm going to meet up <laughs> with your son, Colin, at uh, a distillery in Nashville. You're not going to believe this. He's working for a distillery that I know all about because they used to be in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and they moved shop, and they're now in Nashville. Corsair is their name. Yeah. And they make 
some beautiful spirits. They make a vanilla bean vodka that I love almost as much as I love a toll vodka. But your son is there working at that same distillery that no I know, way. Bowling Green. That's crazy. How about I that? I know. I've been talking to him on Instagram. Man, that kid is so special. Colin is such a smart firecracker yeah. of a human. You did good with him. Yeah, well, he, he did it all himself. He is he is a great <laughs> human. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're very proud of him. Awesome kid. You gotta be so damn proud. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, no, we we definitely are. That's great. I'm glad you guys are gonna get to uh hang out together in Nashville. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's been there gonna... long enough now. He knows all the off the beaten path kind of stuff. I can't wait. We're gonna go find him and abduct him. Rocco made us get a Tesla. So we have a Tesla when we're in Nashville. We'll go pick him up. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't think he's ever done the uh, Tesla thing. I know Bird's a big fan of Teslas. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're very confusing, and I just don't know how to open the door. I, every time <laughs> every time I try to open someone's Tesla, they yell at me. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, you're doing they it make, wrong. They make it seem as if you're going to hurt the Tesla, and I go, well, if this fancy fucking car is that easy <laughs> to break – then I will take my cheap ass car any day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Well, uh, there's a couple of things uh, I think to talk about here today, other than just uh, Virginia getting her hair done. And uh, one of those things is, uh, unfortunately, our uh, good friend Christian Wilkins is not coming back. He is no longer with the Miami Dolphins. So he is now with the Las Vegas Raiders. So that is all over. So... Yeah, I was going to text him last night, but I figured everybody's texting him. And oh, I just, yeah. I don't know what to say. Like, we were texting a week ago, and mm -hmm. I was asking him to come up here, and he was all excited to come and hang out with us. Yeah. I think, mm -hmm. I think he still will, but it just it feels sad because we're not going to be, like, cheering for him. I mean, are we – do, are we Raiders fans now? <laughs> I'm. I am still going to be cheering for Christian Wilkins. So you know, even if he's playing the Dolphins, I hope that he has a great game, and I hope that he makes them regret that uh, they let him walk. So uh, I'm happy for him because you know, hey, look, I mean, you, you play in the NFL to make money. It's ultimately a business. You, you know, that's that's what these guys do. They sacrifice their bodies to make some cash, and you don't know how long it's going to last. And so. I mean, he got a sweet deal. He got a yeah. four, yeah, four years, $110 million, 84.75 of that is guaranteed, meaning he could go out and his leg could fall out on the first day, and he still has basically $85 million coming his way. That's the protection he was looking for from yeah. the Dolphins that they didn't give him <laughs> last year. Yeah, you know, the, the Dolphins kind of put themselves in a, in a bad spot with some of their contracts. They were way over the salary cap, and they did try to work something out with Christian in the last two off seasons, but they just, you know, were way under shooting his value. I mean, he, he made $10.7 last year. He's going to make $27.5 next year. Dang. Yeah, and the Dolphins just they they couldn't they couldn't afford to do that. So, you know, he, right. he's getting his money, and, you know, it's, it's, it's good for him. I'm – you know, I, I don't understand all the dollars and cents of uh, the NFL and what they did. I just read kind of what other people say. I have a feeling that maybe there was some money mismanagement there and they could have done a better job. But, you know, hey, he's, he's doing well. To me, a, a, a good franchise, when you've got a team and you're building around that player like they were Christian Wilkins, you, you keep him, you know, longer than just the five years he was there. But, you know, he, he's good, and, yeah, there were some Dolphins fans really fired up, and I, I was fired up last night, too. I was popping off, man, So because they let go of Van Ginkel and a couple other good players. I'm not going to bore you with the ins and outs of sports, but, yeah, there, there were some other good players that walked as well, and the players are bringing in. I, I don't know. I'm just uh, I'm not sold on it. Don't worry. I, I, I saw on social media Dickie Rance speaking his mind, giving hot takes. Yeah, I was. I, it's not often you're going to get a sports hot take out of me anymore, but um, – yeah, I, I gave one yesterday because I was I was fired up. So, you know, it, it just I couldn't believe it. So anyway, I loved I, it. I loved how you cursed at the end. It made me happy. Yeah, we're not going to be doing any Dolphins interviews probably anytime soon because I called the general manager a dick. So, yeah, that's probably <laughs> off the table. So not that we were getting any anyway, but yeah, that, that ship is, I'm sure, sailed. So Gordon <laughs> yeah. Bridge is kind of what, kind of our thing. Kind of what we do. Yeah. Right? yeah. Screw the Dolphins. We're Raiders <laughs> fans now. I'm cheering for the Raiders. I love LA. 
Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, L.A., they're in Vegas. I know. I learned that last night. I told Panda, <laughs> I'm all excited. I want to go to L.A. and cheer for the Raiders. He's like, babe, they're in Vegas. I'm like, when did that happen? <laughs> when did that happen? Yeah, crazy, right? <laughs> they they were not always in Vegas, y'all. No, they were not. No, they've, they in fact, they've shipped around. They were in uh, Oakland, then L.A., then Oakland, uh, then – Vegas, yeah. So they've been all well, over the place. Nobody told me, and I can't be expected to keep up with all that. I, I mean, hear you. that was a pretty big hot take right there. Y'all, they weren't always in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, that it's was. true. That was pretty good. Um, there's a couple other things. I'm going to hit on some of the stuff that we probably would have hit on the uh, show today. Jaybird, yesterday, you mentioned an artist that had – one song was that alone again naturally gilbert o'sullivan that you yes. were talking about yesterday okay yes yeah, i couldn't remember if it was him or eric carmen who did all by myself because they it, both have alone again songs it's uh, gilbert o'sullivan yeah because i got up today and i couldn't remember i'm like did he bring up gilbert o'sullivan yesterday or eric carmen you saw eric carmen died right he did he did oh he's alone again naturally yeah, he's all by myself. Yeah, that's all by myself. And uh, yeah, he did uh, Hungry Eyes from the Dirty Dancing soundtrack. Which is kind of an underrated song. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. If you like cheese dick music, which I do. I know, that's why I figured. I, I figured it was a sad day for you with the passing of Eric Carmen. Yeah, I do love All By Myself. That is my cut. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. Oh, look, Virginia's back up in the chair. Getting that gray taken out. This is, this is an action shot right here. Oh, she's got the salon. <laughs> GWB in the chat. He said, Eric Cartman died? No. <laughs> 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 Eric Cartman is, yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, let me see a couple other things that uh, went on here. Uh, there's, uh, I, I know, Bird, you and I at least like some of the conspiracy theory stuff. Yes. And remember yesterday, Engineer Keith, he'd send in that email saying, yeah, there's stuff going on with Boeing. It's not Boeing's fault. It's basically the mechanics. So, you know, if you unless there's a recall uh, done by Boeing, then it's on the mechanics fault. And, you know, he was saying, so, you know, don't blame Boeing. But there were a couple things that uh, were going on, a couple stories. One, I don't know if you saw, there were at least 50 passengers that were injured in what they called a technical event. It was a plane, a Boeing 787 Dreamliner that nosedived. And they said like 50 people hit the ceiling, slammed into the ceiling with such force that they snapped the panels in the plane. Dang. That's some crazy stuff, right? It is. Okay, so I, I guess according to Engineer Keith, that's, that's not a Boeing problem. I guess that's the mechanic problem, but Here's the other weird thing. Did you hear the uh, conspiracy theory that is uh, going on about this with this former Boeing staffer that was found dead? Give it to me, Ralston. Okay. All right. I know Virginia could give two shits about this. But, yeah, this guy, his name's Josh Barnett. He's an ex-quality manager at Boeing's North Charleston plant. He was found dead in his truck in a hotel parking lot in South Carolina, they say, of a self-inflicted wound. They're still investigating, but the reason why this is kind of crazy is this guy testified about Boeing's production standards, and this just happened. So this came during a break in depositions in this whistleblower relationship lawsuit where he alleged under pressure workers were deliberately fitting substandard parts to aircraft on the assembly line. So this, I think, would be a Boeing situation. And he said, in some cases, second-rate parts were literally removed from scrap bins before being fitted to planes that were being built to prevent delays. So they're saying self-inflicted wounds, but others might be thinking murder one? Dog, this is the kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, is Boeing, what do they do? They hire a hitman to go take this guy out? I don't know if it's worth all that, but it is kind of odd timing. You've had all these Boeing stories of these planes that weird stuff like this has happened. And then all of a sudden, this guy turns up dead of a gunshot wound in his truck, made to look oh, like yeah. a suicide. It's a little suspicious. Yep. So I don't know. I saw that uh, story going on here today. So that was kind of crazy. Uh, the other conspiracy theory, I know Virginia was uh, dishing the dirt on that Kate Middleton photo. 
Uh, she is now saying that she is the one who tried to edit the photo herself and she botched it. It wasn't a conspiracy. They weren't trying to cover anything up. She apparently is just bad at photo editing. Is that the, do you believe that? I don't know, man. I, you know, I, I typically don't, because the problem with conspiracy theories for me is how often does the lid get blown off of it? What you wind up doing is you believe a conspiracy theory and you never get the proof and you never get that satisfaction. You know what? It's it's like edging to me, Bird. You just, you never get that full satisfaction, man. Well, I mean, sometimes some would argue edging could lead to the greatest of satisfaction. It could, but you never get it. I mean, how many how many conspiracy theory stories have been out there where you got that, oh my gosh, and it was proven and it blew the lid right off of it? No, you're right. But I can tell you this much, that alien story you had yesterday about how the government's got no proof. Yeah, it was Nobody a Pentagon. Pentagon that. said, yeah, there's no proof whatsoever of aliens. Nobody believes the government. You know that. That's such a horseshit yeah. statement. I, and I think the government even knows that. They go, they don't believe us, and that's fine. Screw them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, you're never getting anywhere with a lot of this stuff. So we'll see. Yeah, that story I thought was kind of BS, but I threw that in there to the whacked out news yesterday because, you know, I figured you would want to know it, that the Pentagon is still fighting against these guys who are in the military that have gone under oath and said that they saw these things and they got the videos. It just, what is our government doing, man? Like they're speaking well, out of both sides of their mouth. Half the people are saying, yeah, there's definitely some alien craft or something going on. To and everyone, then, everyone across the globe over just years and years and years who have got similar stories and every, everyone's lying about that. And everybody who uh, has an experience that was in the military or in the air force that's been up in the sky, they're, they're all lying about this. But, yeah. And the government's got no proof. When the, Didn't they come out and say, there's that TikTok UFO flying around and we don't know what that is? I remember TikTok that. TikTok UFO. What was that? That was That's the main piece of UFO footage we have of oh. that TikTok. Mm -hmm. The TikTok shape thing. Yeah. They said they don't know what that was. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of those things. So who knows? Who knows where you're ever going to get anywhere with that? I mean, do you think that the government's ever going to be like, yeah, sorry, we were lying. Here's a UFO. We, we've proven it. It's not from this world. Here's an alien. Nah. They will. They will when the aliens finally finally make 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 themselves known to the human species. Uh, another conspiracy that is out there. There is a boxer now that is blowing the lid off of that Mike Tyson fight that uh, he is going to be doing with um, what's his name, the YouTuber. Paul. Yeah. Jake Paul. Yeah. Jake Paul. Yeah. He's saying that I know for a fact that they're going to be using 18 ounce gloves and head guards. So I guess typically oh. if you're in a real fight, you use eight or 10 ounce gloves. Uh, when you, yeah. When you spar, you use 14 ounce gloves. If you don't know anything about boxing and I really don't, the, the smaller, the glove and the weight, that means less padding. So when you're wearing an eight ounce glove, I mean, you're getting some fists behind it. Like that's going to pop. That's going to hurt. You use an 18 ounce glove and you got on headgear. It's really just a, a complete exhibition. It's a minor, it, it's an amateur fight and, you know, nobody's going to get rocked. You know, he's not going to be knocking Paul out in the first round like he used to in his, in his heyday. So I, and, and they, they say they might spin it because Mike Tyson's 58 or will be 58 when they do this fight that they're doing it for his protection. I, I'm just, I'm so shocked that this isn't completely real. I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think already if this does turn out to be true, it, it takes a lot of the interest out of the fight for me. So I'm sure Netflix doesn't want this getting out there because they want obviously people dialing in for this, but. How, how can anybody out there think this is real i'm watching people argue and talk about who's gonna win and blah 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 tyson and but it's not real right? and people how could they think this is real i i can't read i can't read those kind of comments i was i would you know for me honestly i was hopeful i was really kind of hoping that it was going to be something that might be real and that i said you know i'll wait and see what happens and look this is just one fighter that who knows the guy might just be jealous i don't even know the guy his name's uh, he's a british heavyweight chisora uh so i don't know anything about this guy but he calls it an effing joke and he said that it's going to be a bunch of nothing honestly you might as well at the end 
have The Rock run down the ring, and then maybe even show Hulk Hogan. It, it, yeah. it, it, it's wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think, uh, isn't Netflix going to be showing Raw? So I think it is all kind of tied together, right? Yeah, you know, Netflix is going to be doing live events now. That's how Chris Rock did his special. Oh, okay. So it, it was completely live. Yeah, they're they're getting all the all the major players are kind of getting into that streaming stuff. So I think that's yeah. where it's going. I think they're gonna give my dad a Netflix special. It seems like they give everybody so many specials. <laughs> everybody does have a Netflix special. You're right. I don't know if anybody's watching. I thought uh, this is kind of surprising. You know, yesterday on the after the show, I told you that the um, usership and downloads for TikTok had fallen off amongst 18 to 24 year olds by nine percent. And now word out today that Instagram surpassed TikTok with the most downloads in 2023. Yeah. So TikTok, TikTok has fallen off for whatever reason. They say that uh, Instagram's app downloads grew 20% year over year to 768 million. And TikTok increased by just four. They were at 733 million in the same period. But yeah, Instagram has taken over TikTok now. See, in your face, TikTok. Didn't yeah, you say they're, they're they're taking away some of the cool music on TikTok. Did yeah, that happen? yeah, yeah. There's there's and I don't know specifically every song, but a, a major music group. And now there's there's two now that have been removing stuff. So, are you watching that Virginia getting her hair washed? I can't see that shit. She looks like an ant. <laughs> I know, I know she's covered herself up. Thank God, because yeah, if she had, we could have gotten a crotch shot here. Um. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Suits uh, put it right up. Yeah. Oh, look at that. She's getting that gray washed away. Virginia said, "Did you hear that part where Virginia said she thinks she'd be seventy percent gray?" I did not, but yeah, if she, I, I remember my grandma Coleman, she, I, I never understood, you know, people dyeing their hair as a little kid. She, yeah. When she was in her 70s, she always dyed her hair jet black. And when she turned 80, she stopped dyeing it. And it freaked me out because she wow. was completely she was she was, it was Ben Kenobi. It was white. <laughs> it, it, it was a wizard. Right. Yeah, what a change, huh? I got quite a lot. I, I got some grays for sure. Yeah. My, my, my old beard is white. Yeah, but that's that's not representative of your head. I mean, I'd say on your head, you're maybe what, 10, 10%? gray I, my sides are gray my my top's still pretty pretty dark I, yeah. it's, a, it's a real cool look real 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 white santa claus beard and then a skunk's ass for the size of your head it's great <laughs> and you said you tried that beard dye and everything gives you a rash oh my gosh oh my gosh it's the worst yeah. It's, it's, plus i i think it looks fake man it, it makes me mm. it, make, it makes me look like it Funny enough, it makes me look like Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm quite primitive. Anytime I would ever dye my beard, I'd look like I was half man, half gorilla. That, that is quite a look. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I <laughs> uh, don't know if you saw the Academy Awards ratings went up from uh, year to year. Last year, they had 18.8 .8 million. This year, 19.5 million. So... They'll go back down next year. You think so? Well, wait, was last year was last year when Will Smith slapped Chris no, Rock? That, no, that was two years ago. Then you know what? Never mind. My theory is not very good, and I'm backing out. <laughs> You're going to punt on that right away? I'm punting right away. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good shitty, way to do it. A shitty theory. Uh, something else that apparently might be not be doing well. Jennifer Lopez has canceled shows in seven cities on her new tour. First time she's been out in five years. And there is rumors it's because of ticket sales. Does she need some vocal rest for lip syncing? <laughs> apparently nobody wants to see her uh, sing over her own tracks. Her, <laughs> her, her concerts in Nashville, New Orleans, Raleigh, Atlanta, Houston, Cleveland, and Tampa all have Dude, been canceled. People aren't even faking the funk anymore. I mean, I am seeing some just ridiculous performances of people who are singing straight over the entire track. You're going, what yeah. the shit is this? When, right. when did this, when was it so blatant that we're singing over everything on it? We can't get anything live? 
Yeah. No, I, and they they don't even care anymore. I remember what a shameful thing it was, and now the, they don't care. They don't care. Uh, yesterday we were talking about um, Enrique Iglesias and uh, his performance Friday night. I think they're at Amrit Bank Arena in Sunrise. And she said, yeah, I was at the uh, Trilogy Tour in Sunrise. This is Ashley. And she said, I will say that – Enrique Iglesias sings and sounds better in Spanish than he does with his English songs. Now, Ricky Martin can sing. Pitbull was awesome. The show was great. But, yeah, there's a lot of clips now of Enrique Iglesias, and the singing is not on. Like, you want to talk about somebody who probably should be singing over their own track? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, dog. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Can you even hear us, Virginia? Not there's there's nothing I can hear, and I, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a, it's been a pretty fun podcast. <laughs> We're just watching Virginia get her hair washed. I'm just I'm just kidding. Virginia, can you hear us? She lifts her head up. Blink twice if you can hear us. I couldn't even see her blink. No, no. Okay. Uh, Engineer Key sent this. He had a theory yesterday. We had a debate about whether or not pizza can be considered a snack. And he said, isn't a snack sometimes about quantity and not just the type? For instance, three slices of pizza equals one meal. One piece equals a snack. Yeah, Do you I think mean, that's I, what it is? Honestly, man, everything I've looked up, it, it – what I – Pizza is definitely considered a snack on some level. So Virginia won that. But look, I'm used to getting fucked in those KVJ games. Okay. Well, Engineer <laughs> Key says steak bites equals a snack. Lamb pops is a snack. Typically, you would think of both of those things as a meal, but it's about the quantity. Okay. Yeah, but, but pizza can be either a snack or a meal. And the question was, name a snack that started with P. I said pizza. A lot of people agreed that 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 should have been considered a snack. The way it was worded in the chat room wasn't correct. Okay. All right. Oh, don't yeah. worry. This isn't it over. Was... I'm, I'm going to be working on this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was close. It was close. Yeah, no, I, I know I lost the chat room, but the way the question was worded in the chat room had nothing to do on my point. Mm-hmm. Uh, yesterday on the show, we had uh, an email from this uh, mom who noticed that her weird next door neighbor has a security camera pointed in their daughter's bedroom. And she was freaking out about it, wanted the husband to confront him. He did go over and ask him about it. And the guy said, yeah, it's a camera it doesn't work anyway. It's just old and broken. She doesn't know that uh, she feels any better about it. We heard about some kind of like film you could put on a window. But I saw today that uh, the cameras have been an issue in Airbnbs. Have you heard about that? In fact, SNL had a joke about it a couple of weeks ago about cameras in your toilet when you go into an Airbnb. Yeah. Air Airbnb has now banned all indoor security cameras from all of its property listings. If you have an Airbnb, you're no longer allowed to put a camera in there. Dude, I, I mean, the way I looked at it, I always assumed somebody was probably filming me. <laughs> I, I, well, I, I've been to two or three of them. And every time I'm going, I guess I'm getting filmed. <laughs> I was just assumed it. Yeah, right. I, I, it'll be interesting to see, you know, if a lot of people would then pull their Airbnb off the market. Because I assume you have the camera in there if you're not some kind of freaking creepo. That what you're trying to do is you're just trying to see if they cause damage. And then you've got video proof. If they have damaged it, then you take them to court and you got something to stand on. So you won't have that anymore. So now they could be like, I didn't do it. That was that way when I got here. How, do the Ralstons do Airbnb a lot? We, we have, we have, but it's been a couple of years since we did. Yeah, we we had uh, good luck with it uh, a couple of times when we did it. Hey, there's it's Magnolia. Good. Hey, what's up, y'all? My mom gave us her phone. She's getting a shampoo. Yeah, we we noticed that. You guys are on spring break, huh? Yeah, we are. I am, and so is he. Sweet. No, yeah, it's awesome. How are you guys? Good. How's how's Florida State? so much fun i love it it's literally the best ever it's like oh my god it's amazing you guys all have to come and visit oh yeah no doubt yeah we'll come up for a football game how is it hard how tough is it compared to high school oh yeah it's 10 times harder than um 
I like Jupiter, like I had gotten two B's and then like I get to college and get a B and I was like, wait, what? I didn't get a B till my senior year in high school. So it was like a big adjustment, but it's, it's getting better. I'm in all like pre-med classes. So all my pre-med classes are like bio, chem, trig. Wow. That's crazy. I, I'm not kidding you. When I got B's in high school, it was pizza party galore up in the Pennington household. B, B, B was a great job over at my house. No, my mom, like, I don't know, because I just got A's all the time. So when I got a B, she was like, oh, okay. But then when I get straight A's, then she would, like, take me places. So it was like a B I didn't. <laughs> That's good. Your mom told us that uh, you're going to a formal with a boy. I I, I am. Oh, uh, who, is, who is this guy? Uh, just, uh, just a kid that I met up there and a bunch of, well, you know how I live with my best friend, the Re- Ella lad. So yeah. he's going to to New Orleans. We're both going next weekend, the twenty second, and so we're both going with two different guys. So we like went. We're going together. Dang, that's crazy. So what do you guys do when you're in New Orleans then? Um. So the guys like well, right now I'm actually in the process of painting like a frat cooler, and it's a lot of work. And I didn't realize how much work it would be because the guy like pays for like the trip there and like whatever, and like the hotel room, whatever. Like you stay in a hotel. And then you have to like paint him a frat cooler and fill it with beer. What? So you got to do this for him? Now, what's a frat cooler exactly? It's like, so if you like look it up on TikTok, you can like see videos of it. But it's like, basically, it's like a cooler. And I had to, I had to spackle it. Me and KK were spackling it because you have to like cover the logo. And Uh then you have to like sand it down with a sander. So, like, I was, like, outside sanding this thing. And then you have to, like, prime it. So I primed it last night. And then tonight, Rocco's going to set up the projector. And I, like, created, like, graphics. And I'm going <laughs> to trace it with, like, a pencil. And then you, like, go in and paint it. So, like, I put, like, golf clubs on there. You, I'm going to do, like, the Florida State logo. I'm doing – what else am I doing? I'm writing – like you write funny stuff. Like you write the frat. They're in like their flag. I'm gonna do the American flag. Like stuff what? Like what is the fraternity this guy's in? K A. <laughs> Kappa Alpha. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I've heard some stories about those KAs there. <laughs> nice. They're like the country nice people. Oh, okay. They're the good. They're the good old boys, huh? Yeah. And then Ella's going with like I think Pi Lamb. Pi Lamb Defy. Hey, like, Max, have you, have you heard of a, a frat called Lambda 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 or sorority called the Omega Moos? <laughs> no, I no. have not heard okay. either of those names. No, they're they're there's Phi Mu. <laughs> honestly, so they really do have moves. Not really, but it's like it's like M U Mu. Okay. <laughs> but you can call it Mu if you want. They might take to that but i won't okay that's good so you got to make this tricked out cooler for this boy and then you go to new orleans and what do you guys do when you get there so we leave friday at like 5 a.m next friday and then we stay friday night we go out and then saturday night we go out and then we go to like a formal so i wear like a dress like a formal dress and then i think you go to like a dinner I actually don't really know. And then Sunday you leave. So okay. it's just a weekend thing. But like, I love New Orleans. So I'm going to like, I'm going to have so much fun. Uh, you're going to be, you're going to show everybody around. You know that city. Yeah. This is like my second home. So I'm really excited. And I've never um, brought Ella, like gone with Ella to New Orleans. And she's like my best friend. So it's going to be so fun. And That's I'm so- cool. Hey. Rocco wants to say hi, guys. Okay. All right. Rocco. See you, Mags. See you, Mags. But yeah, it was nice to see you guys. Have fun. Be see safe. You. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Hey, Rocco. What up, bud? All good. All right. Tell your mom we'll uh, check in with her tomorrow, okay? I think just like that, they're done. Yeah. I think uh, the Sinikis are out. So that's probably a good point. Well, I just want to let everybody know that um, we're going to be uh, posting stuff up on social media. And so uh, Virginia's leaving town, but I'm, I'm staying put, dude. So uh, maybe a little bit of baseball and some bar hopping and checking out some restaurants. I did that yesterday, man. I went down to uh, the square that they now call it. Bird, dude, that place, I didn't even recognize it. It's weird, man. It is changing radically and fast. Boy. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's nuts. The uh, Bellagio that was 
in the Harriet Hemmel Theater. It has moved over now. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's nice. They're doing some good stuff there, but it, it looks radically different. They've torn down the old movie theater and they're putting three towers up there. So, well, l- let me know if you want to do an impromptu meetup where, we, where maybe we can tell some uh, KVJ Nation or some units out somewhere. Yeah. If you're yeah. There. yeah, no doubt. The Queen's off this week. So we're just kind of, I'm already kind of pushing her. She, I, I, I'm the plan maker. She's not. She kind of goes with the flow. So, uh, we'll be out, but yeah, I'll hit up social media and let some people know. I mean, we were out yesterday a little bit. We we're out in Boca for a little while, but um, yeah, I'm not, get cannon. I know yeah, you're not doing I'm Boca. I'm not doing <laughs> fucking Boca. I'm not, 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 not. <laughs> Yeah, I hear you. But if we do something about West Palmish, I'll definitely let you know. We'll let people know uh, we're out. So if anybody wants to uh, join up for a little happy hour cocktail, we'll do that. So we'll be on every single day that uh, we are off. And then don't forget on Sunday, we're throwing out the first pitch at Roger Dean Stadium. So we'll yeah. be out there for that. And it's it's looking like uh, weird and whatever will be going off at 6 p.m. So, okay, that's Thursday night, right? Yeah, Thursday. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. So we'll have uh, some stuff for you guys to check out. And uh, if you guys have any requests, anything you want to hear on the show, the show's still going to be on in the mornings. Uh, any bit that you want to hear, uh, let us know, and I'll have Denny spike that in there. So it'll be all good. So we'll see y'all around the way. Uh, back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. for another ATS. Have a good day. See you later, Bird. See you, Kev. All right, man. Goodbye.